Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. It being 6.33 p.m., uh, Wednesday, August 25th, 2021, I'd like to call the meeting of the Westminster Select Board uh, to order. Um, welcome all members of the public, um, members of the board, uh, members of the municipal government, and all who are attending. Uh, adjustments to the agenda. I have two. Uh, under other business, we need to add Prudential Committee draft letter under A and B, errors and omissions one. Okay. Thank you. Now move for the acceptance of the minutes for the August 20, the August 11th, 2021 meeting. I'll move that we uh, accept the minutes as printed. Second. Uh, motion has been made to accept the minutes as set the minutes as printed for the Wednesday, August 11th, 2021 Westminster Select Board meeting and seconded. All those in favor say <laughs> aye. 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 Opposed? Question, is this a new format, Russ? Excuse me? Is this a new format? I don't remember it just being broken out like looks pretty good. It's easier to read. Um, this is from Millie, so I don't know. It, it does look um, spread out more. So. It looks like each agenda is like a separate sort of flowing from one to the other. That's all. It's, I just, I liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, shall we proceed to adoption? Thank you. Minutes are hereby adopted. Uh, communication and public comment. Any? Any from the general public? First time I've seen Chuck Quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing none, moving on to uh, unfinished business. Uh, a American Rescue Plan Act. In your package, you have uh, new information uh, that came two days ago, I guess it was. Um, the counties are not getting the uh, money um, that they thought they were going to. It is now going to be sent to the towns uh, directly. The, such as Wyndham Regional Commission will get a stipend to help us spend this money, but they're not distributing it um, as they first thought. So this is a chart that they sent to us. Um, and at this point, the Westminster town is going to be due $807,436.52. The Westminster Village will be given $80,414.82. Um, as both of these are great numbers to work with for the town, the discouraging part is looking back at the 2019 population, which is um, not even close to what we should have been um, at to to receive these funds adequately, but again, um, it's better than a poke in the eye. It's eight hundred eighty-seven thousand um, plus dollars. So, um, what's great news? They what, all, what is what are these used for? The, the, this is the ARPA money, the American. Um, excuse me. The American Rescue Plan Act. And in your packet, you also have a, a better determination of how and um, how these funds can be used. Uh, before, it was four very uh, simple uh, items that you could spend it for, and looking at them was very, very limited. With this definition sheet, uh, the committee will be able to 
look at each one of these and and fit it into our community. Um, one I would like to call your attention to is on page three, the fourth line down, a uh, fourth item down, fourth column down, whatever you want to call it. It says, may ARPA funds be used for stormwater projects and expenses. Um, and that is a yes for the first time. Um, we have experienced a very severe uh, Piggery Road Bridge um, the culvert failure. And uh, this is some place where um, we might be able to use uh, the funds to create a bridge instead of replacing that culvert. Um, just an idea, but it is definitely a possibility now with these new definitions and, and uh, uh, rules. Uh, there is also uh, uh, many items now that fit Westminster and the needs that we have. So um, again, read these. They're, they're very, very interesting yeah. reading. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad for this, this document because it's, it was very, very hard to, to fit projects. As, mm -hmm. as you and I talked, uh, Toby, in depth, uh, it was very hard. To, to, to finagle projects to make them fit into this. And now the, the, the uh, perspective is very, very wide. It doesn't buy equipment. It still does not buy equipment, but it does do some very neat things for the town. So anyway. Uh, at this point, I'd uh, like to uh, unfortunately interrupt the meeting to uh, just let everyone know that Millie will not be attending due to the death of the family. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, uh, she will not be here. She just uh, wanted me to let everybody know. I just received her text. Sorry for that interruption. Um, the one thing I wanted to clarify, though, too, is for the record, just to make sure that, um, uh, as you explained to me this afternoon, Russell, that the um, this money is bifurcated. We will receive half of it soon. So we we got our first halves of the small amount that we I told you about a month ago. Um, we in our um, bank account have the 141,000 in change and the village had 14,000 in change. We did get those halves. So those are ready to go. Those are in our account. This, these dollars will be coming at the end of August, early September, being so late now when they just came out with it, it's gonna be in early September but half of it. And then next year at this time, you'll get the second half of both allotments, the towns and this regional uh, monies. So yes, it will be in two installments uh, to the town. Thank you very much. Questions, concerns, observations. Have we had any replies to the uh, request for committee members? Not yet, not yet. Um, mm -hmm. I have the whole village um, committee wants to be part of that. So I shouldn't have said no. Yes, those folks need to be mm -hmm. um, abreast of the of the um, procedures, mm -hmm. and uh, they they're up in the air whether they're just going to give us the funds to do in, into a bigger pot, or are they going to do smaller projects within the village? Um, they're not sure yet. They want to be part of the, the conversations. So yes, um, we have had that response. Any comment from the public? Russ, can I ask your question? Yes, yeah, so on the same one, on the same one, it says, What it, document are you looking at? This is this one here. Okay. It just says we can get, it was on the what same page? thing you were talking about. It's on page three, fourth one down. It says, May receive funding to invest in the wastewater infrastructure. Did anything like extending, we've talked over the years, extending Rockingham's sewer line down through the valley with that? With that even close to being what they're, they're this money won't don't pay for that but you would it would go could go it. to it if okay. that was something you'd you'd want to look, look at yeah because we the businesses asked for it but they couldn't get it because it has to be town owned right and then these funds have to have to be put towards town owned um right so maybe we could actually look into that because you would have the the, the businesses Contribute money to it too. I mean, maybe paying the, la the last yeah. the last time we looked at it, Larry Slayson was leading that charge. He was um, the chair of the committee, 
and um, I was working in the private sector and Gates started giving him prices. And uh, when I reached the $2 million mark, he said, stop. Um, and I hadn't finished. So this is a, that is a very yeah. extensive project. So our 880 won't pay for it, but it would surely. No, but it, it's, it, you're also possibly going to have businesses that would be paying a fee. They pay a lot of money to try to be in a flood zone. They're all in flood zone. They could contribute a lot towards it. It's what, that's what the business were asking for. If they could have help, mm -hmm. it wasn't like they were trying to get something for nothing. Yeah, they, it was to, to the them. industrial park, and right. the industrial park turned into solar. But there's a lot of businesses down there that spend a lot of money to keep up with their leach field when they're in the flood plain. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Well, thanks. <clears throat> Any other comments? Right, thank you very, very much. Moving on to Hartley Hill Road. Private section update at Vinny. We have no updates on the next three items. Hartley Hill website. Oh, I'm sorry. Russell's here. So uh, at my point, Hartley Hill and collaborative financing processing manual, both of those items should be tabled with no um, further information. The, is there, uh, what, where did we leave Hartley Hill the last time? Where did, you approved to create the quit claim deed um, and it's in Larry Slayson's hands. He's creating the document for Russell, uh, excuse me, Robert Wickberg to pay for. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, website renewal. Uh, I'll be reaching out to Russ uh, probably sometime next week um, or the week after to work out IDs and access and all of that. Um, at this point, we've got the core of it up and we're just finalizing, pulling down the whole contact. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Russ. <clears throat> um, finance processing manual update. Um, uh, this is a critical um, um, project that we've been working on and obviously we've been tabling it obviously we're in the middle of something that's kind of important which is um restoration repair um repatriation of funds that type of thing but the collaborating financial processing manual uh, now that we're getting back to work here in the fall needs to proceed um where are we um as far as possibly getting all the players together uh, to, it's been uh, put in Paul's court. He has to um, get together with um, the assistant um, clerk and define those two positions in the document. And then we can meet um, again with um, Chad Hewitt and, and proceed. But we need, we need that step where Paul and, and Darlene Kelly meet to um, define their their jobs. Okay. So, and there is a contract, a proposed contract, too. That we will be talking about next right. meeting. That will yes. play into the manual, yes. And we think we'll be able to discuss that in the next meeting. Yes. The contract. Yes. This is with uh, Nemrick? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, thank you very much. Any comments from the public? Wonderful. Thank you. Moving on. New business. Um, thank you, Letter Gazette. Um, I simply took it upon myself, um, folks, to uh, put a little um, very short uh, letter together, um, given everything that's occurred over the last uh, several weeks regarding uh, all the people who did such a fine job in this room and not in this room. Uh, Russell, Chuck, Jason, um, everybody, um, the highway department, fire department, first response teams, all the town uh, folks, uh, all the contractors that um, uh, Chuck, Russ, and uh, Jason uh, did everything they could. And um, and uh, Craig uh, is quiet, but he certainly helped, as he always does, doing a terrific job making sure we've got what we need. Citizens came together. Uh, to protect the public safety, especially that night. Um, and I just want to put this little note together, if you could review it. Uh, I thought we'd put it in the Gazette and at least acknowledge everyone um, for the incredible job they did to get the roads open as quickly as you guys did. And of course, nobody, thank God, nobody uh, was injured. So just an amazing job. 
Thanks for doing that, Kevin. Yeah. One is, I wouldn't call it a short letter. You did good. No. Second is, you got my name first, so it looks like I did it. So congratulations. You made me look smart for the first time in my life. And, uh, but reaching out to the, everybody, you're right, everybody chipped in and uh, Chuck and the whole crew did what they had to do, which is important. Don't, don't sound so surprised. <laughs> the surprise it was using your yeah. name. <laughs> so I mean, thank you to everybody. Um, <clears throat> Uh, including our uh, financial support, uh, our bank, community banker also, we'll get to that, also did a great job uh, to help us when we needed it. So there it is for your review. Thank you very much. Any comments, questions? Okay, moving on. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. I would, when this is over, close to over, in the next yes, few sir. weeks, I would like permission to at the fire department, at the fire station, with the permission of them, of course, have maybe a cookout just to thank everybody that came out and went above and beyond to help pull this together. It's a great idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. Yeah. And how would we coordinate that? With oh, I could pull it off. I okay. Just, just money, that's the biggest thing. Um, there's a lot, there's a, there's a lot yeah. more people that would contribute than you think. You can, oh, yeah, yeah. We you, can count on, uh, you can count on us, you can count okay. on our company to contribute, so. Perfect. Thank All right. We let us know when it's planned? Or? No, no. Oh, you guys can't come. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Who's going to serve the drink? <laughs> we'll find somebody. Okay. Serving alcohol at a fire station, that'd be a new one. <laughs> that would be. Yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea. And well, well deserved. Um, Seven twenty nine twenty one storm uh, emergency financing the FEMA update. We got word today that we did. We haven't got word. Um, this was from Megan Brunk from VTrans. I have not received any communications regarding this declaration. Hopefully soon. So we have not heard about the response from FEMA nor the governor to trigger uh, an, uh, an actual declaration. So at this point, we're still in the waiting game. Um, I know by watching the news, most of the FEMA uh, representatives are uh, south of us um, in Tennessee. It was over 700 representatives from the Northeast. They went down to help with that. So I'm assuming we're going to take a, a little backseat to that for a while. So. Anyway, we're in a holding game. We're doing, we're continuing um, the process to put down back to hole um, for snow plowing and et cetera. So that's that update. And today um, we needed to tap our line of credit in your um, packet. You have the request that I did uh, for $225,000. To date, we have spent $251,000 plus or minus. Um, which we've, um, the, uh, before that, excuse me, before yes. the transfer. Yes. Um, the transfer was immediate. Um, I, I, I think I did it around 1130 and by noon, the money was in our account. So, um, it's immediate, but we, um, spent uh, some of the emergency fund and out of the general fund to, to do this. But honestly, with the money arriving so quickly that it, it can come out of this money also. So it, all told, we're fine, we're covered, we're good for the next pay period. So the 225 seemed to be a good number to, to uh, settle us out for, for uh, another couple of weeks. Is it, is the, it's in here? That's correct. Okay. But I have a question why we didn't sit tonight. Now I see where you did it, that's all. Okay. Nice. So the two, the, the all the money that we wrote out for the two fifty would be mostly in this. That's correct. Pay period. That's correct. Okay. And what will be the process of shifting money from the emergency reserve? There is no shifting. Uh -huh. It's in the general fund. Uh -huh. It has been in. A, so you just pay out of that. That's correct. Pay that down until until it's gone. Until it's gone, and then. And we've done that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a question about, I'm, I'm just awed by what's going on up my road. 
and I'm sure that it's happening, you know, all over the place. But it's, it, I'm just curious, is this a different way of dealing with this, the future of the roads? Um, you know, they cut into it uh, quite a ways. I thought, wow. I'm going to fall over into there, but they started putting rock in there, and now they're... So because your road is is near a brook, hydrologically connected, yeah, we are bound by an agreement that somebody signed before I was ever involved. The, the Municipal Roads General Permit, which addresses that. So we are bound by that to put it back according to the MRGP, or we will not receive any help what's mrgp the municipal roads general permit oh okay act 64. yeah it looks great it looks that's, like that's it that's that's amazing. why we're just before we even started that's what we were told we had to do so that's yeah we're, eventually we would have done it anyway because yeah. we have to but um it's just happening a little faster than we had anticipated because of the storm now, if we want to get paid for the damage on your road, we have to, when we repair it, do it correctly. Yeah, well, they so do that's, it. it's really That's why. Oh, it's, and hopefully, it's going to make a difference. I can tell you that all the roads you take, like Davidson Hill, where we'd already done that previously, the main hill on Davidson Hill didn't wash a bit. It was up on the very top where a culvert got plugged. That's what caused all the trouble. But everywhere we had done just what we've done on your road yeah. made a huge difference. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. I, yeah it's, it's been interesting watching it, but I had no idea what they were doing. Right. It just looks so little bit weird. But yeah, it's now no, it's, yeah, no, it's not what we're used to for sure. But, yeah. but I think it'll make a difference. Yeah, I think it will too. Good. Okay. I also just uh, want to make one last comment that uh, to move on the um, the rate of cost um, to help us through this process from our local bank was exceptional and I can't help but again uh, thank uh, Katie Dearborn and her team and Russell for getting that put together um, and um, I uh, just want to make sure that that also uh, is reflected in the record moving forward too. We'll make every effort to make sure that we are as transparent as possible in the dollars that we are spending and holding them in account. Right, Russ? Sorry, I'm trying to take notes too. Say it again. How we're spending the money and making absolutely sure keeping yeah. everyone abreast of how that's going. Absolutely. Okay. Um, any other comment on the process and the format on 729 21 storm? Uh, I have a question. Yes, Maybe please. Here. Um, what's happening with Penwood Hill? So we were instructed by Mark Pickering, the state engineer, mm -hmm. you know, okay, um, to hold off until it, uh, this has been declared a state of emergency mm -hmm. because he was afraid that if we repair that section mm -hmm. before that happens, we will not be reimbursed. Can it be repaired the way it was before? He, yeah, he gave us some direction on how to fix it. And he was supposed to have given Russ a scope of work. And I haven't heard back how, if that's taken place yet or not. Just the verbal one that you- Just we from, all received. That we all there. received. But what he's talking about doing is reaching over the guard rail, well, Removing the guardrail that's compromised, right. reaching over the bank, 225 feet long, reaching down roughly 10 feet, digging into the to the uh, slope about 10 feet, yeah. and creating a, a riprap wall of sorts <clears throat> with the same slope that's okay. there now on the other side of the guardrails, then resetting the guardrails mm -hmm. in stable soil, um, and then refixing the road. There it is. And that wouldn't be an improved project. It would be a FEMA covered project. It's his opinion that the sliding that occurred did not go all the way to the bottom. That's why just reaching down 10 feet, he feels, would be adequate to repair it. Okay. Let's hope. I, yeah, yeah, I'm not an engineer. That's why we 
That's why we trust those folks because that's okay. Right? I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, well, I don't yeah. have to drive on that road, so. <laughs> <That's>, no. <laughs> Yeah. No, so, you know, he, he he pointed out he had a lot of good points. You yeah. know, the trees hadn't, you know, if the whole bank slid, you'd think the trees would be leaned all the way over down yeah. the bank where they really haven't yeah, so much. That's true. So Okay. I feel confident that he's nobody's doing. Yeah. Okay, good. Sure. And your thoughts again, uh, we had discussed on the time frame. As far as the, all, the whole project, uh, yeah. all, all roads, I'm thinking. No, no, on oh, Henwood Hill. Henwood? Yeah. If, as soon as the governor pulls the trigger, it's, we could have that straightened out, I would say in two weeks. Once we hear that, we'll put it out to bid um, and uh, get, get prices started and hopefully um, late fall, early winter, get it done. Okay. Um, worst case scenario spring. Thank you. Um, since we're on that subject, I'm going to be brief, but um, I feel it's owed to the taxpayers, especially when we're asked. Uh, I was asked to go up to Camp Road with Russell and Ben uh, to address the uh, damage that had occurred there on 72921. I'm assuming that's late at night where everyone was all hands on deck up there and um uh got to meet with um um nate stoddard as well and to bring up the fact that um uh, several possibilities simply um reviewing the culvert system if there is any if there is anything that we can do to make an improvement and or uh uh, an augmentation that may uh, help citizens there and then the second part obviously is this um, uh, long stationary um, pond retaining wall uh, that is privately owned um, and thank you all you guys for showing me how this basically works i'm not an engineer i know it's private land i believe this has been tried before i don't want to be redundant on it but we have a taxpayer um that's very concerned about um the issues that that wall may pose going forward in the future so it's a dam i really not a wall, but okay a, but a dam thank you for correcting me um if there's a possibility if um that makes sense to again contact the homeowner um uh to see about um you know looking at it or getting a look here closer look at it to see if it's uh um if it is an issue, if it is a contributing uh, factor in the event that future storms may be larger, uh, or we could have an event that precipitates, you know, uh, a wall giving way or uh, more water coming over that wall. So I want to make sure that uh, when we're contacted, all of us, whoever it is, by uh, our fellow taxpayers, that we, you know, address it. I hope I have and um perhaps maybe we can continue to look into the fact that uh, uh maybe we could uh, get a closer look at it i understand that the homeowner may or may not be uh, open to that um uh, but um perhaps a, a letter uh, requesting and get a look at it would be helpful i can assure you that chuck and i will look into this um further um we'll take pictures, et cetera, and bring them back to you for um, our thorough examination of the water flow and, and how to address it, if any. No, and you did that day, and I, and I appreciate that. I wasn't trying to be redundant. I just wanted to make sure that we had that on the agenda. And again, thank you for your time and consideration that day. Um, okay, any other questions or comments from the public? Just a quick question for us. You mentioned both FEMA and the governor having to approve. Is there any value in people reaching out to the governor? Or is it all FEMA's court? It, FEMA has to de declare that there's enough damage that they witnessed to enhance the, the uh, proclamation. The governor at that point then writes the letter and says, I, I claim this as a, as a disaster area and then FEMA runs with it. So it is, tightly woven to who does what first and 
like at this point yep. that kind of standing toe to toe, but nobody's willing to take that next step. Yep. Um, forgive me before moving forward. So we're not on other business. So we're still in the process and format. Uh, Russ and I discussed the call tree or emergency management response in these type of situations. Um, this needs to be uh, revisited or the call tree reactivated in the event that there's something larger. Um, uh, is that something that uh, we should have a committee on or is that something you feel that um, you can come back to the next board meeting or thereafter with some suggestions on um, how call tree can be reestablished that way in the event of a more critical situation we make sure that people aren't putting themselves in unnecessary danger and we're hitting all four quadrants of the town because it is a large space um really nobody knows anything about this but you and i um so saturday night uh kevin called me and asked about the, the up, up and coming rains that were possibly going to affect us from our damage that we had from 729 so he said well we got to get the word out and i'm like if we had this call tree like what we had really had pressed for that would help you know that that uh at least some neighbors would have the information they could go to to uh neighbors on let's just pick that road davidson hill where there's one way in and one way out and it washed severely well this new um proposed storm of three to five inches would have taken it right back out so a, a, a call system would have at least given them a warning that we are watching this please help each other get your food preparations etc but we didn't have that we don't have that we don't have that system like the school has and i keep using that as the example because it's quick and easy and um, and everybody gets it in, in the format they want it. Phone, computer, uh, text, whatever they want. Go ahead. I was gonna say, so the Vermont Alert, is that the same thing? We have a handful of people that use that. Uh -huh. So, so we encourage people to? We have been, I've got brochures, we pass them mm -hmm. out at, at uh, town meeting. Um, and yeah. who still have, I think there's 13 people signed up in Westminster. That's not enough. That's not getting the word out. So yeah. hence why I called you Sunday morning and said, let's put it on the Facebook page. Yeah. So anyway. So sun Sunday morning, I got a hold of several contractors. I had Allen Brothers Excavator move to Windmill Hill South. I had Bucky Adams backhoe parked at the bottom of Henwood Hill Road. Our backhoe was parked over at the Westminster West Yard. I had another backhoe at Kernhattan. Tim Allen had his backhoe ready to go. Um, so did Kenny Morris, had we needed it, just in case, like you're saying, to prep the roads. I met with the fire chief um, Sunday morning just to touch base with, you know, if we had to close roads or we had to evacuate or what. So. No, you did an outstanding I'm job. Not, I'm not knowing about the, the phone tree. Or yeah, the purpose of the phone tree it. is more or less for the general public to stay indoors, not get in your way right. or emergency management way. Perfect. And that's what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking that, would about be, like, that would be my only fear is people out there trying to help. Exactly. You know, and it's like, you appreciate it, but yeah, we're good. Russ and I were up again on the camp road and we heard, you know, that Every, you know, it was all hands on deck. So you had neighbors out there in a kind of a, you know, doing what they had to do. And I get it. And I'm not criticizing anyone. But was they, that Sunday? Yeah. I oh. mean, that was in the height of the, the no, rain. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. no, no. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about this last yeah, Sunday. Right. When we were due for. But folks six put to themselves 10. in at risk. Oh, sure. Okay. And, yeah. um, you know, trying to help each other. I, I had some so. of my guys, I had to remind them, hey, it's just a road, buddy. Right. You so get out of there. I think it's a very good idea, Russell. You know, again, to, to let our citizens know that you know we need the roads clear. Please stay in. It's safe for your safety. And uh, if we could get that going, that you know, with the text texting is probably the easiest. I would think. Well, you know, like you said, all of a sudden, you, the minute you know that 
Morrisburg has a washout that we instantly send mm-hmm. it out to stay off Morrisburg Road. You wouldn't know, right? But the minute you send it out, then people would know that, hey, listen, you know, stay off it. Right. They're going to work here. Sure. Uh, you wouldn't know otherwise. No. Yeah, it could be very localized because the Vermont one is just too broad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we try exactly. to put it on our Facebook page, but it doesn't always yeah. as quick as it. But that's what I agree with Russ. That was the problem with when the state or Vermont sends it out. It doesn't really. Not just Westminster, it doesn't tell you where in Westminster it's going to hit, you know? Right. So that's the alert thing. That's not local, that's statewide. You can you can harness Vermont alert to to uh, Wyndham County and you can even get smaller and, and actually draw a, a two or three town mm-hmm. limit to any alerts. The problem with that is is the storm is just outside of your little window of, of alerts. Mm-hmm. And by the time it becomes an issue, it's here. So yeah, gotcha. you typically do Wyndham County and then you get diversion of diluted information of, of you get the heat warning for that. Yeah. <laughs> at three, <laughs> at three fifteen. <laughs> How important was that? Well, yeah. we, we can say we have a tax roll that's very healthy. And um uh, you know, just getting everyone on a text tree that says, hey, look, you know, we've got a storm coming or a storm's in. Please stay inside. You know, this is for Westminster residents only. I think that would be very effective. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, I, get, I, rest, I mean, there's products out there. So I could, yeah, 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 there is. And yeah. They were cheap. Yeah. They were like $1,500 for the year. And he gave you it was even uh, less than that. 15, he gave you 15, um, options to, to do it mm-hmm. and and Chuck and I had talked or I think it was even Mark and I talked first um, that you know if you had a had a road that you wanted to close mm-hmm. you're able to take that section of the of the population and say hey Holden Hill yep. you're going to be influenced by you know lack of access from this point to this point mm-hmm. at such and such time so you could use it for road projects or tree yeah, down tons or of stuff yeah down. Ton. Accident, who knows? Could be tons of stuff. It'd be super hip. Uh, so, and but preclude, anyway. preclude those cars that ended up, those blank Hondas that ended up upside down. Yeah. So, anyway, a good thought. One, uh, yeah, good. Think about the flood. Yeah. So, you were you going to talk about this NCS letter? Or? At the next thing. Uh, we haven't got to the C to oh, okay. yet. Oh, that's C. Okay. Gotcha. I All got right. one more quick question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This this packet of checks gets oh, well, contractors sorry. paid up until when they gave us our last like this, Realistically, probably last Friday. Yeah. Okay. Realistically. No, no. I just I had heard some hadn't got paid. One had. I don't know. I just want to make sure that everybody stuff received, was in the. Everybody received a check that had billed us the first time, but that was right off the bat yeah, yeah, yeah then it's two weeks so this time we processed right. everything that we had okay. which was substantial oh, as yeah. you know no, no, not, so. so not all the contractors that <clears throat> were first on board during the, the emergency are still here a lot of those are gone and went back to whatever so we've only got a handful that are yeah yeah still here basins so, was a perfect example they they jumped uh, on thank god right off the bat yes yeah. worked their their three days or whatever they worked and didn't bill us for another whole week right so they didn't get paid in that first yeah. little jack but they got paid in this of course the second one so and now things as they come in Oh, every every week he's bringing every, me stuff. Every tonight. Monday they are invoicing now. Yeah. yeah. So for the week. Okay. Any further comment on uh, process format seven twenty nine twenty one storm? Yes. So in your packet you have a letter. It's a draft. Um, it's not a draft. Sorry. It is a letter that the state has recommended us to use to the acting state um, conservationist, I won't even attempt his name. Um, And what it is, it's a letter from the town stating that we were affected by a watershed um, emergency and that we are um, unable to pay for 
said damages on private lands um, from town coffers. So we are um, submitting this as, as a um, an emergency where we need help for private citizens. Um, it didn't ask for names or, or locations. It just asked for this letter to start the ball rolling as in put it into to play. Um, again, um, a woman came in today um, that was on the list and asked um, for uh, more information. She was in, in a state of devastation um, when it all happened. She um, had a friend just cuff it off to make that they could get in and out, but that's it. So this will actually put them back together again, this, this funds that they will be doing. After we get this done, it's up to the to the landowner, which they call them a sponsor, to the uh, um, Natural Resources Conservation Service. Well, the town is actually the sponsor, right? The town is the, the main sponsor, but uh -huh. Once the, the funds and they start looking at particular mm -hmm. jobs or, or projects, um, you become the person that has the that pays and, and has the, um, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, ability to, to say I'm, I can only afford X amount. Right. Um, some of it is fully funded and some of it is, is a right. process. I'm just curious about the process. So what, so we let them know that there'll be people in our town applying and then the individuals apply or? I will, once this letter is approved by you folks, I will sign it and send it to them. That means the town of Westminster is signed up. Right. At that point, when FEMA declares this a, a, uh -huh. a, an emergency declaration, then you, you as individuals, taxpayers, residents can can submit a claim to us for you. So that's when it, the ball starts rolling. They'll deal directly with you about where it is, how much damage it was done, and they'll um, send a team essentially. They, they will send, send a team, team to advise on okay. how to, to move forward. And the homeowner is not obligated at that point, but neither is the town. Right. If the project is going to cost more than what it's worth, if for some reason they they um, they estimated it as, as being a, a two hundred thousand dollar job, and they have the contractor, they do all the process for you, and you're only willing to do fifty thousand of that, you can you can name your own shot. So um, what I've read, it's it's a very good program. Um, but the, the details are in each project. They're not, it's not just a big blanket. It's, right. it's, it's, right. it's, exactly. The specifics have got to be uh, project um, yeah. right. specific. So anyway, so I'm asking for a motion and, a, and um, to accept this letter um, and for me to sign it, if you would. I moved it. The just a moment, a we have a uh, query from uh, Russ from the um, public. Yep. So from the way you just described this, this is more post work. In other words, if someone already had damage or repaired it, they wouldn't be able to get reimbursed. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. I know. This is still pending devastation. Yes, right. this is for like major. We have it's not we for have, like a washed out driveway. It's no, like, no, my culvert blew out. My house is full of water. Like, yeah, we have Big six drive. inches of muck. Yeah. in the basement we have dirt against the house right we've cracked ceilings we have it's not a small right we could, um, could wash out a leak field and they can't replace it exactly large money Lar it's large, large money. money yes yeah i would just say it, it would be good for the future to knowing that that's the case make sure we're putting this day two you know we're a month afterwards and we're just doing and i know you know we're this doesn't out. this is not available every storm okay every gotcha. incident this okay. this happens to be big enough where they've given us the option to do gotcha. this okay. and they just came out with this um probably two weeks ago yeah. week and a half ago okay um i sent it to a few of the bigger ones that i knew needed it mm -hmm. and then it was thrown back to us and said no we need your letter to, to get started and so gotcha. this is what i'm asking is to sign this letter and get it started i'll entertain a motion I move that the town submit a letter to NRCS 
through Russ Hodgkins to participate in the uh, uh, federal assistance program. Motion is made. Second. Oh, Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. One last matter on this before we move on. Um, this letter is interesting. Um, as we all experienced, perhaps with our new website, um, uh, with the permission of the board, I can craft uh, a little idea. Homeowner insurance is critical as weather continues to change in our world especially up here and increasingly in these storms homeowners are not um, either equipped or capable of finding uh, adequate um, private coverage to augment the damage that's being done to their home um, i would think it would behoove us as a, a select board representing fellow taxpayers to try and put together some type of a program to at least see what is out there uh, collectively or provide names for the private sector that can provide at least maybe some answers and some possibilities so that more and more of our citizens will have at least some type of protection, some type of private insurance to augment uh, this type of damage when it occurs. Uh, I think it's a well worthwhile uh, concept and um, I hope you'll join me in this effort. Again, it's just informational. Um, there'd be no conflicts. It'd be simply trying to educate and provide direction to uh, all the homeowners we have uh, to see if they can find affordable um, and capable uh, private policies that can help them uh, each time that we have a storm. So, good. so essentially on our website, if you're a homeowner and looking for insurance, you'd be able to go and see a list of companies that might offer something they'd be looking for. Sure, and then perhaps we can actually even uh, speak to the LCT and other and other uh, cooperatives and see um, if there are again um, I understand you know times are very expensive and it's a, yeah homeowners insurance is not cheap but it does make a difference and if we can every any bit we can to help our fellow taxpayers I think it makes a difference good idea everybody good mm -hmm. okay enough talk thank you uh, truck purchase financial discussion. In your packet, you have um, what's our balances on in our equipment fund. Um, it's getting closer and closer to delivery date. Um, so we've been kind of tabling it. It's time to find out what we're going to do. So we have at to date fifty thousand seventy seven dollars to place towards a hundred thirty three thousand two hundred sixty four dollar truck. So we are in the need for eighty three thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars. Also in your packet on the back of um, of your uh, order form is options for. Um, possibly financing it through, um, I guess it's Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. He gave us an option one and an option two, one for two years and one for three. Both put us within reach of our balance for this year and possibly paying it off next. Um, but we do need to make a decision what to do. So uh, option two, looking at the possibility of borrowing the money, it would be like $30,000 payment annually. It, it was quoted, so you know, you, you can do a head or a rear. So it was quoted in the rears, which means you would actually not make your first payment for a whole year. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's good because right. we need, need taxpayer approval to, to do that. So it would be a, um, and it would also depend on um, other possibilities such as surplus, um, putting that money towards them, putting it in front of the taxpayers for permission to do that. Mm -hmm. There's options out there, but that's still too early to, to give 
affirmative of how you're going to do it, mm -hmm. but um, it would be helpful to have a clear path of how you want to proceed so that when information comes in, we'll know how to, tra how to transport that information to you. Discussion. So what are our options now? Borrowing the money? So when, it, when is the truck due here, Craig, to start with? Depends on what stage you're at. If I take your used truck right away, you would end up with some money in the bank. But, but basically their new truck will be here in six weeks, five weeks. Okay. So in that period of time, you... You could put a down payment of the the amount that's that's in the equipment fund, mm -hmm. and then in March bring it up to the taxpayers of while they want to pay for the remainder, um, which could be as simply using the surplus towards it, or financing the uh, remainder for that year. Um, both would be in the equipment fund. It's just an FYI. For transparency it's not it's not a separate loan it's still coming out of the equipment fund within the budget but since that item is uh, voted on each year we would be better off having a vote from the taxpayers i think it would be a lot tra more transparent given the fact that we use money Timely against the storm to replace our backup. I'm going to say the, the voters gave you permission to buy the truck. They just didn't give you permission, to, but it's still equipment. So they it does give you the freedom to choose what equipment you want to get. But you'd be going back to them saying, "Hey, we wouldn't purchase this, but we want your permission to put it. We we're going to put it in the budget for this year, anyways." But we. We basically are just saying we wouldn't purchase it because it was a better deal. The back of what I'm talking about. Well, and it was an emergency. Yeah. I mean, it kind of superseded the truck. Yeah. So, and you're you're exactly right. It's not you're not asking for a, for a long term debt. You're asking to spend the money in a in a fashion of two different years, like you would anyway. So, but again, it's just a conversation to help with transparency of what you've done in the past year for the equipment. Thoughts? Right? No, I, well, it's conflict of interest, so I shouldn't say much anyways, because I, uh, it's still legally, what do you have? The reason why Daimler does it, they, they actually allow you to turn the truck back in if the voters turn the budget down. Now, obviously in this case, we would never do something that stupid because we've already purchased it, but, it, you know, has it ever happened? No, not really. But if it wasn't that the fact that, hey, we weren't going to ask for it in a year from now, I would have a different approach. But we just bought it before the next fiscal year. And we're not the only ones in that boat. I see where people buy used trucks for a year to get through because they didn't have it. But in this case, we asked for it. We were, everybody in town knows we were buying a truck. It's, it's really the backhoe they don't know we are buying. So. So, so we would take under this proposal. We would take the what is 50, it, fifty three thousand fifty thousand seventy seven as a down payment, and for the rest of the money, we would ask the town either as a separate article or put it in the budget. So that we could put it in the budget also, and we could fund or as a separate article. You wouldn't. You wouldn't need to up the ante. You wouldn't need to up the one forty five that we're asking for. You mean from the regular equipment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. We could do that and explain that, or we have as a separate article. Because what next so year? What happens in the future? What do so you mean? Because this is what happened to us this time. Yeah. Right. We we moved the backhoe back because before May we got an excavator. Right. So we bumped the backhoe back, and that didn't make it as long as we thought it would. So now we're getting a truck, but we're going to borrow from the next rig, right? 
Mm, well, so, so you use your, so we've, we've got a schedule. So every time we do that, we put ourselves right back in the same boat, right? Except no. all we're doing boat. is we're taking the backhoe from, from next year and the truck from this year and we're switching them. Mm -hmm. So the dollars are still on schedule after next year to continue your skip your purchase okay. schedule mm -hmm. and you'll have a few extra dollars to do it with mm -hmm. sorry, i just didn't want so i just want to make sure we weren't we're, we're not, not we're, right. not, we're, we're not, not skipping them add the extra. it's all the same yeah yeah, yeah. this is why i have this yeah. conversation every year i i just yeah. don't think you should borrow the money for the truck because it's a two-year loan or whatever and i still think if we went to mass Goma and, and borrow the money for the backhoe we would pay for the truck uh, like we were we would have a, a one less than a one year loan we borrow mm -hmm. the money from now until march for the back up still gets put back into the capital fund in other words you took the money out just by the back up you borrow the money put it back in and now you take the one you got 133,000 write a check out of it My only reason is that then you're only borrowing the money. It's like if a line of credit. If you're borrowing the money for this piece of machinery, you're going to have to go to the taxpayer before yeah. you do this. So that's yeah. a special town meeting, which well, you I'm can do. Say, that's why I wouldn't say you'd borrow the money from Daimler. Well, from this point of view, you're not borrowing the money. You are, you, you are and you aren't. You're using the 50000 that's still in the equipment fund to pay the first payment. So you that's how March. you're looking at it. You're looking at it that way. You're even though you really did still borrow the money. I mean, you're saying that because we didn't have to actually give any money to the loan, we still borrowed money from the loan. I'm a little confused. I see what you're saying. You're saying that we didn't have to take any physical money. That's we are not in a long term debt. We are prolonging our payment in two two facets: one this year and one next year. We can pay a payment of fifty thousand dollars, which is part of this option that you gave us for two years. I would not go three; I'd go two, because now you're back to what Chuck was worried about was prolonging um, the equipment purchases. You'll pay for that fifty thousand into this year's. Next year, out of the one forty-five that we're assuming we'll get for um, equipment. We'll pay the remainder in the second um, it's really fiscal just year. Buy, buying us a little time. That's right. That's what exactly that's what it's doing. The next. That's, that's all the it's next doing. The fiscal year. It's right. not really We're not buying. really borrowing any money because we're not exactly. going to ever use Daimler's uh, money. <laughs> on, on, just, on paper you are, but you're yeah. not actually. Right. Correct. That's right. Yeah. And the, the dollar amount is... Um, The two year was forty, so it would be eighty eight thousand. Um, and oops, where's my paper? And we would not have to. When and it was eighty three thousand. Mm -hmm. So, so we're paying five thousand dollars to do this. That's what it's costing us in interest to split the payment in half for two fiscal years. Now, go ahead. I just wanted to get that out so I make, mm -hmm. make sure that it's clear. <clears throat> yeah. Well, other than it's my company, I got it. Recluse myself, but yeah, um, it's a no brainer. Somewhere in between, what we're asking for is, makes a lot of sense. It's just how does it look like what we asked for? It gave us a five thousand yeah. dollar insurance yeah. Yeah. policy that we had to pay for. Yeah. That's all it is. We gave ourselves a, a new backhoe yeah. because we needed it in the emergency um, situation. And this is giving us an extra year to pay for the truck that we had already ordered. Judging by what I see going on for next year, 
the same truck just went up twenty thousand dollars. It's just ridiculous what we have. Not just not the equipment and everything. It's just so that's the same way I thought with the backhoe. Probably now before they go out of it could become a stupid price, but yeah. Which means buying if and correct me. Um, which means buying the backhoe probably saved money and buying this truck now probably saved oh, money. Definitely. Definitely for what happened with this market. It's just nuts. Um, this there's nothing you're going to get. I mean, I'm with customers now and telling them, if you rush to your your board, I can get you one for next August. That's if you rush. You know, it's just nuts. Because of the backlogs. So, yeah. so all that being said, mm -hmm. when we're working on our budget, we need to keep that in mind that stuff does not cost what it used to. Yes. No, we need to come Culverts back. last month went up 48% in one month. We have we have two bills. And I asked him, I said, what, what happened? We had 24-inch culvert before the, the incident at 1485 oh, or something yeah, oh, like that. A foot, yeah. A foot. And... He bought some because we needed it in the in a quick hurry for thirty three dollars and fourteen cents or something like that. It was like well, availability too. I was at Prescott three days ago and they didn't have a culvert in the yard, so they won't see another one until they miss it. That's that's what happened. But so we bought the I remainder called what was available. I called because I ordered culverts three months ago and I still haven't got them from yeah. our supplier. So the valleys had some and they had some over at W and W. Uh, half a dozen each place, so I bought them. Back to equipment too, with money and time, like that, like that new backhoe. Anything we buy now that's emissioned and electronics and all that is not going to last as long, either without costing some money. You told me ten life. years. Our new Kubota tractor, right now, I say new. It was bought four four years. four years ago. Oh no, Ron bought it. But I can't think right now. But here it is. Anyway, I go two and a half years ago, maybe three. So it's got a uh, check engine light called down. Pelco will bring it over. Yeah, it's going to be a twelve thousand dollar fix. It's the DEF pump, which is under warranty. It's the exhaust fluid for the emissions. Went to, you know, it broke on it. But anyway, so if we owned that, if we didn't have the warranty on it, whatever, if we kept it out, that would cost us twelve thousand dollars for the part. But it doesn't include labor. That's the I just did. I just did Halifax, and they had a, a 2016 International that they had problems with. A, they spent because it wasn't on a warranty, one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in an international dealership just repairing it, and gave up on it. And I just sold them a brand new truck, and we took all the equipment off. When we got all done, we figured they ate one hundred and sixty thousand dollars yeah, on, on that whole deal. Why would you do that? They had no choice. So that's. Why we just got to yeah. be careful not to ever, no matter whether we're here yeah. or not, we got to set the future. It's not going to be able to stretch So that it doesn't out. happen. Yeah. Absolutely. And always be with comprehensive coverage, um, as you just pointed out, because it is worth the extra dollars to make sure that our equipment is covered. But more importantly, um, I am more than comfortable and um, confident over the problem that just happened to be untimely for all of us, which was COVID and the backup in the manufacturing line. So we're actually getting vehicles, uh, which we're not gonna be able to get in a timely fashion, and that it is overwhelmingly more than likely it's gonna cost our taxpayers more by not acting decisively now. No question. Yeah. Did I say that right? This is what I was in, in your right and we all know that. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just think the one thing when we go back to the voters this time, we I don't think they would have disagreed if we had asked for 175. I think what they are out of us is like, let's make sure you got enough money in the capital. Do you know we, we're not coming? We'll need back. to I agree with you. We're gonna need to discuss the yeah. increase in yeah. cost of uh, yeah. equipment and uh start yeah. 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 we're gonna have to talk about it. Material, absolutely parts, yeah. fuel, or yeah. all the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we? Uh, what do we need on the? Uh, well, if you're ready, we should have a motion. If you're ready for that, I'll entertain that, please. We can, no, we can't. Uh, <laughs> so I'll make the motion that we borrow money to buy the truck for two years. 
or, or, or however you word it, authorized to borrow money for two years from uh, from Daimler Daimler Truck Financial. Second that. Uh, motion has been made and seconded for the purchase of uh, the new vehicle. Uh, any discussion? Any further discussion? Let me uh, get together with Russ on the financing because well, I only picked that. But if you you have to look at where we are today and where, where do we want to pay it off. So if you're going to pay it off in March, June, July, it could be less than two years. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So you got to stay here and then but. You could save some money by saying, okay, it's really a year and a half when we come back around the calendar year. When are we going to pay it off? You see what I'm saying? When would, because that's what. The earliest we could pay it off would be um, mid uh, to end of July. Because you, you only have two payments. So your payments yeah. would be the same, yeah. but they would, you'd pay a little less interest if you didn't. You know what I'm saying? I, I think, okay. I think the motion should stick because right. we're going to be in a financial you're borrowing for spin two right years. Now it's with, just a matter. You can tell me when you want it to end. I I would do the full term. Okay. Um, for when when it comes, okay. November so to, to November. Pay it off early. Exactly. And so, yeah. if the capital's there, we can make that decision. Exactly. Yeah. No. Right. All right. Yeah. Um. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. And uh, Greg is recused. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the five year capital plan. Um, I can speak to this. Thank you, sir. If you want. Um, so, it'll probably take a while to get to this, but I, Chuck and I met a month or two ago and we talked about um, specific plans or strategies for upgrading the town garage. Um, and Chuck, at some point, is going to get some prices on that. So, yeah, I've, I've actually, I have been working on it. Um, okay. They came, they looked at our heating system, yep. designing a heating system to work for that building. Yep. I uh, had a contractor look. He's going to get me a price on adding the two bays we talked about. Mm -hmm. I got a hold of VLCT and asked about a pit, whether or not uh, for maintenance, if that was even still legal, which it is. Yeah. Um, and then, and then we got a rainstorm, and I'll be honest with you, that oh. took a backseat. I, I figured you would not get to it, but it. But, but I, I've been working on in between the level. Yeah. And the tank removal. Yeah. And the tank removal. Yeah. yeah. I, I've actually I got a price on that from uh, mm -hmm. Beardsley up in uh, Springfield. Yeah. So. So when we get back this and have time, what I'm hoping is this will sort of be show you the whole idea for a. a five-year plan starting with the town garage and then other people would like to take up. I contacted a customer, this Vermont home installation is huge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a meeting with him in the Northwest Minister community because I really need the insulation people near to be with the heating people to know how big the heater system has got to be. Mm -hmm. And so I will meet with them. So it just dawned on me. I can also have them look at the town garage while they're, while they're mm -hmm. still in that meeting. Just go to both facilities. Perfect. That'd and, be uh, great. Come back. Because that was my next thing in the general north. But no sense even looking at heating. I was about to have my own heating yeah. company. It's like, how is it? Like, no. Nah. Yeah. So if yeah. I get them together, then I can figure out. I might spend more money on insulation, but less on putting in the heating right. system. So, Excellent. So hopefully at some point in the future, we'll have... Yes. A plan that says, as I said before, town garage, we'd like to do these things, this is the cost. Northwest Community House, this is what we'd like to do, these are the costs. I would say within the next couple of months, we should have that pretty well on my end. Yeah, and any other buildings that anybody else wants to? I know the post office, um, some people have suggested some work that needs to be done in the post office. In <laughs> fact, um, not to interrupt, but in fact, I think Russell had mentioned that uh, Uncle Sam has asked us to uh, Straighten up the facade in the post office. Yeah, it's going to be taken care of this year. Okay. Um, I have um, a couple of young folk that are going to uh, do it on weekends. Um, right. They're going to, to first spray it and kill the, the uh, mold. Mm -hmm. And then, which this year, everything has got mold on it. Um, then they let it set and they'll scrape it and paint it. Um, and we have some tile that are that's just on the inside of the 
delivery door that needs to be repaired and um, Cole Streeter will be doing, he'll be the main contact for all of this. Yeah. So Great. it is being done. What's we, the story we were, going back a while? I remember when we first had issues with mold, was the water was coming off and it was going down the side into the basement and all that. But we also talked about the roof. That roof never got repaired, never got replaced, right? That's still the original roof. I can't remember. I just know I can't before, before before I was town manager, you guys had some roof work done. I don't I don't know if we put a whole new roof. I, I remember one time we were looking at or it, pushing repair. rain gutters. Let's, let's put, go this way. It might have been just repair. I, I know we did repair work, but I don't there's one we time put a we new talked furnace about, in it. Yeah. yeah. Um we want to look at that only because they I remember them saying the only solution was to put it and put a new roof, put the gutters in, and get the water away from the building. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't make sense putting the gutters till we put a new roof. Well, right in. now, it, it, it's just so dark around it, and the weather that we've been having, I mean, it, it, on white, it snaps, and it, you can see it so clearly, it's, it just has to be yeah. literally you know, killed, and then... And so then we should have a list of what work that we need to do in the post office. Yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Yeah. Of the complaints so far. When you so, say young people, I'm assuming are they going through coal? They are. are. They're so insurance wise, it's it's through coal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, we we fixed that basement up and we did some work. We've done work with it. Another thing with back Absolutely. Was, you know, they kept backing in to the back and bending over and breaking stuff. And I know we did the dock, we did a bunch of things. Yep. But, exactly. Okay. Seeing nothing further, moving on to the town manager's report. Okay, um, same old, same old. Bids um, have been just pushed out a little bit um, for the front uh, foyer here and uh, um, for the floors and walls will be pushed out till September. Um, the trash bid will be out um, early September. We still need that for our um, discussion on um, budgets for FY23, so we do have to get that out but we're pushing them back out just a little bit further. And the second thing was legal counsel. Um, I still have not received um, the following. Bill Lyons estate, we um, cleaned it up um, where that gentleman had passed. And so we're out some, some expenses. This um, estate has no living heirs, but they have not yet processed an estate, created an estate for the town of Westminster to uh, redeem their expenses. Um, at the point that no one steps up as a, as a true heir to the, to the Lyons estate, then the town will um, obtain the land, which we can sell. And there is a, uh, an account, a bank account that has some funds in it that we can redeem our expenses, but um, the majority of it by law goes to the school systems. So um, that one needs to be cleaned up. It's been on their docket for months now. Um, and I still haven't heard. That was last winter. It, or late, late winter, it was spring. spring. It was spring. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was storm. Yeah, he passed in, in a, yeah, he passed in July and, and no, it was. We're cleaning it up instead of yeah. snow. We got that last wet, heavy snow while we yeah. were working there. Um, we still haven't received a letter for Tammy Kissel and the work on private property um, that I've been waiting for. We wanted a letter from them that you folks asked me to get. I talked about Harley Hill quick clean deed with for Robert Whitberg. We have not heard anything on that. Davidson Hill property, we had that. Um, all lined up to have a, a, a sale and Larry stepped in and, and said that he hadn't done a, a proper title search. And so that's still in their court and hasn't been, been thought, taken care of. I thought there was a relative that came forward on that. Or There's relatives that? there, but no one wanted it. Oh. So um, that's hence why we bought it at tax sale. Right. And so if they do reclaim it, which is fine, but they're going to pay their eight thousand right. dollars of trash cleanup right. to the town. I, so I guess I missed. I must mention something different. These these folks. I mean, that's it is one of those things that uh, 
Um, and we were supposed to have a tax sale in August and um, they have yet to do the research and set a date yet. So I've been after these folks for quite a while um, and I keep bugging them. But just to know we are working on them, but we're as far as we can go with them. Not to be flippant, but uh, is um, Larry paid in full as far as the work he's done up to date? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So uh, just, um, and I appreciate the, uh, the diligence of this. Uh, perhaps um, you can just send all this exactly the way it says and ask him for an update. I did it today. Okay. Did you send, did you we don't get a CC me? I sent it to Samantha and Larry only. Okay. I will, I will forward it to you. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I think the next phone call should come from Kevin. find out why they're not getting these Do we have a backup? They're down a they're down a lawyer is what happened. And that's why and now the evictions are running rampant. Oh. So Okay. Well very good. Um, thank you. Uh, okay. Boards and commissions. I have nothing to report. Uh, okay. Other business. You put two more things on. Prudential, Prudential committee, committee yep. uh, draft letter in your packet. You have a draft letter. Um, wanted to make sure that it has all the information you need, but it's not. It's not a story. It's it's strictly explaining why the town is now paying the fire district directly for hold harmless and pilot. Now we did receive. Um, and you correct me if I'm wrong. We did receive a response from Larry on this particular matter, did we not today? Today. I, I, did, I had a lot of trouble understanding that whole, why that whole harmless and pilot. You're not the only one. <laughs> I don't, I just don't get it. The fire district for the very first time, apparently, is going for federal funds. The federal grant application, according to their grant writer, is telling them that they need paper trail of state payments that they've received. Their state payments are hold harmless and pilot. They, they've been getting this right along. So what they, what they get is their full amount of requested funds from, from town meeting. So in our version of our budget we take their portion and deduct it off of our monies needed and pay them but it's not shown on paper we receive those funds and we pay the, the fire district so to, indirectly they're getting their dollars that they so deserve but we have we're the ones that are out on that limb to make a, a best guess estimate of how much is going to come to the town when they finally shake out all of their budgeting, the state that is, um, in November. So now they're asking for this money separated and, and a check cut. That's what I don't understand. It's just a paper trail, but they're going to go out on that limb also now. I was going to say, they're they're, gonna have, they're gonna have to, there's no gain other than for them to gain the grant money that they're asking for down the road. Gives them a better chance of getting that, it. Then, then, uh, to get it from something that they have nothing to do with? A federal grant for a fire truck. Yeah. No, but I'm talking about the, the source Dollars. of the Yes, money. absolutely. It has nothing to do with them. Exactly. And the, but the state of Vermont gave um, Katie the permission to do that and said yes. This is this is um, very doable, so that's why they're running with it. And I, I, Chad works many many towns and doesn't have any experience with it, but yeah, I mean, it's he going to help. Doesn't the, understand it either. No, it's going to help the, the fire district. That's why it's it's important. So okay. I think it's not a big I, deal. I, I can't paperwork wise. It's just an extra check cut in November, and uh, we'll go from there. Given Larry's response today, though, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, he wasn't at all certain as to how we were we were to proceed. Isn't that correct? No. 
No, he he got this draft letter just as it states in front of you. Okay. So he knows how it's all being shaped out. He just said, I don't know how you're going to pay for it, how you're going to use your accountant to to actually show the ins and outs of that in, in our accounting program. That's not his problem. And he said it, it looks fine to him, but it's not his problem. It's between your accountant and Nimric. And he spent but Nimric. Nimric doesn't understand why it's being done that way either. No, but they'll put a line item in there to an expense line with a revenue right. line. And okay. it, it honestly, it's really not going to be that big of a deal. So, so far, the only thing we're going to have is this is select board. We got the expense of parent, paying our attorney to do research for the fire department, but you know, that's that's no big deal. Yep. I guess. So. Let me ask you this. Um, Will this resolve? Will this give them what they need? I yes. guess they will. Yes. Okay. So I have in front of you, you have drafts. I have this ready to be signed if you so choose. Yeah, it just doesn't have a draft written on it. Then you need a motion that we, as a select board, we approve the wording. The and wording, the, this letter is written up by the town manager to be submitted to the financial committee. Which this is what Katie asked for. That's correct. Oh, yeah. I don't think you need any more than that, right? That's fine. Except Kurt. you need a second. I'll second. A uh, motion has been made um, to adopt um, payment for district portion to hold harmless and pilot allocation. State of Vermont um, for the Prudential Committee, on behalf of the Westminster Select Board, and a second has been made. We we'll also authorize the chair of the select board to sign on behalf since there's only one line. Okay. Sure, I'll go into the valley of death. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. XID number Read in week. Can I sign this uh, George Armstrong Custer? Yeah. You gotta make sure you get all three. Could read it yeah. anyway, you're training. Uh, all in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Yeah. Opposed? Uh, adopted. You can oppose it, but you're still signing it. I am not voting on this. <laughs> <laughs> I said I, I can't I, I can't vote on something I don't under I don't agree with or explain. So we have an abstent, um, one abstention. So we have um, four yeas and Toby Young has abstained. Um, okay. Exactly right. Today, twenty fifth. Twenty fifth, yeah. Yeah. You can't read it anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> that could be Chuck. <laughs> oh, it's me. Usually I use a big X. Uh, okay. Um, any other? Oh, yes. Uh, moving on to errors and omissions. It was brought to our attention that um, Ronald and Michelle uh, Boslin had their parcels um, surveyed and the estimated value, the estimated acreage was much, was much more than was actually there. Um, it was not carried over um, into this year's tax evaluation. So hence you have an errors and omissions in front of you. Um, Why is it saying reduces the value? Right. Because it was estimated at 12 acres and it uh, filtered out to eight acres. So you just said it had more acres. So it has less acres. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. It has less acres. And this is the people she represents us, so we have to go along with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I move that uh, we accept the errors of mission on parcel 007011 
Their boss and Rollins and Michelle. So moved. Second. Uh, motion to accept um, errors and remission has been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. That's a Could you initial the original, please? It's in color. The one you have in your hand. Yeah, you do have color. This one? Yeah. Yes. As chair, just initial it at the bottom. Okay. Are we under? Are we under? Are we doing this? I got a question of the manager. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, shoot. Well, this one I didn't understand. This is one favor. It's for uh, Peter. I don't know how much. Right. R Y S Z. Peter what? Reese. Reese? Is it Reese? Right. Peter Reese. What? It's for uh, 97000 What's it for? Tax sale re uh, redemption. So we wrote a check to buy it because we got no. it. No. At tax sale, he purchased two properties. Okay. He, he had did more than that, but he purchased two separate properties. There's two checks in there for him. Um, one was, you don't need to know what the property is. Right. Okay. But, uh, so he, uh, excuse me, the owner had one year to redeem. He redeemed. So he paid the back taxes and we held in escrow this Mr. Reese's dollars. And so we're paying him back with the interest okay, paid so by So the best, even the though we owners. see 97,000 here in expenses, we wrote a check, you got offside in income someplace else. That's correct. That's all. That, that's your answer to my question. That's that's right. Right. When you first look at it, you're going, like, that's a check for 97000 you know? I, I said, here's, here's your check. I have no idea. I, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, is it contractor? <laughs> all right. We're going to put it in a FEMA. <laughs> so, just so we could follow through and we're always learning, could you bring back the next meeting showing us the income? The, the income the revenue shows the revenue to balance it out. Okay, it's one. It's one. I can just tell you right up front. It's one percent every month. So, on his on his sixty two thousand dollar investment. Okay, so it's he gets six hundred and twenty dollars every month towards his his right. redemption. When they 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 come back, the owner finally says, "You know, I I need this property back, and here's the the buyout." The town gets only. We can't make any money. We can only get back I taxes. That, but you had money come from from the people who originally had it. Wrote you a check back. That's correct. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. The revenue. If somebody comes and tells me, "Hey, you just spent ninety seven thousand. Where's the revenue? I just want to. Yeah, this came from this." Over here. That's all. Just a simple matter. Thank you. Show. Yeah. Yeah. People ask me, uh, I go, uh, I don't know if they didn't. Somebody started asking, dig a word. Show me where it is. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a good question. It's always under a tax sale line. It, it, it's in not the, easy because I know it's set aside and all that. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? I move for your turn. <laughs> uh, date of the next meeting will be September 8th, 2021. I will not be at that meeting. I'm sorry. I'll be away. Uh, okay. Anyone else uh, not going to be present? She wants to leave early and then she doesn't want to come to the next meeting. <laughs> that's, a, that's somebody with an attitude. Do we have a quorum for uh, the 28th? Uh, I'll be here. Uh, what is it? September 8th. September 8th. Uh, okay, motion to adjourn. Craig is thinking. No. Just let us know, Craig. I'm going to. No, I Just let I, us know. You got yeah. plenty of time. Yeah, I think I, so Toby is the, made the motion. Who seconded it? I second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. <laughs>